It's late July and almost midnight. In less than three hours, the sun will rise again. Halfway up the long chain of mountains that forms the frontier with Norway lies the Swedish county of Herjedalen. But it's a border zone in a more fundamental way than that. It's the southernmost stronghold of the Sami people, who lived in the Scandinavian mountains time out of mind. Hunters, fisher people, above all reindeer herders, nomads who moved into northern Scandinavia from Asia at the end of the last ice age and made their way slowly south. Ja, jag vet inte om jag kan säga något exakt årtal, men så länge jag vet så har ju renskötseln och mina förfäder existerat här. Who do you think really owns this land here? Is it Sami land? Det här är samisk land, ja. Finns ingen annan som skulle ha varit ägare. Men enligt de juridiska författningarna så är det omöjligt för samer att äga land. But in the eyes of the Swedish state, the Sami nomads are living on crown land. The Swedes too are an ancient people with an intact culture that goes back to long before Christian times. Farmers and foresters, they followed the retreating ice northward into Scandinavia from Europe. They planted their wooden villages in the forests of Herjedalen hundreds of years ago, and in summer drove their cows and goats up into the mountain pastures. Samerna kallar sig urbefolkning på ett sätt som inte jag accepterar. Vem som är urbefolkning i Herjedalen, det vet ingen. Det kan ingen säga idag. The folksy charm is deceptive. There's a dispute raging here in Herjedalen, and it's only partly about which of two peoples and cultures got here first. What's really at issue are the competing claims of two very modern industries, forestry and reindeer husbandry. Up in the mountains, July is calf marking time. The Sami used to muster the reindeer herds on foot with dogs. But to make a modern living, they need modern techniques. They'll be mustered again in the autumn and half of the herds slaughtered for the luxury restaurants of Europe. This morning, the calves born in the spring must be assigned to their human owners and marked accordingly. For Edwin Rensberry, like most Sami, reindeer herding is more than just a living. And calf marking is one of the big events in the annual calendar. His surname in Swedish means simply Reindeer Mountain. And his empathy for this wild and spectacular country is strikingly similar to the Australian Aboriginal attitude to land. Orörda ut som den här naturen trots allt ändå ser ut idag. För tittar man då på från ett världsligt perspektiv då pratar man ju då om en orörd vildmark. 
Och det där när man pratar om vildmark, det har vi samer aldrig förstått oss på. För det här, här, i de här områdena har vi ju, vi ju alltid verkat. För oss är det här ett kulturlandskap och ingen vildmark. För renen och samerna, de tillhör ju den här naturen. Och den ska finnas här. Och det innebär det att... Yet there's a chance that neither Sami nor reindeer may be here much longer. The size of the Sami's herds is theoretically controlled by the Swedish government. But many believe that in recent years they've been allowed to grow too large. It's not so much of a problem in the summer when the reindeer graze in the state-owned mountains. But when winter comes, they'll go down to the valleys to pour through the snow for lichens on the forest floor. And that's where the real problems start. Because a lot of the forest belongs to private landowners like Carl Erik Mortensson and his friend Per Nordlinde. And they claim that the effect the reindeer have on their livelihood is becoming too much to bear. Nearly 20 years ago, Mortensson clear felled a part of his land. It should now be covered in healthy, self-seeded young trees. Instead, much of it's becoming a desert. Was this area felled at the same time as where those big trees are over there? Mm, det är samma tid. Samma tid, men men det är alltså ett hårdare betestryck här. Det är mer ren, den har gått ostörd här. Och där har vi stört den, den är närmare gården. So, uh, what about this moss here? It looks very short. Should it be looking like this? Mm. Ja, den är kort därför att den är nedsliten. Den var alltså för 20 år sedan så här lång. Och behöll alltså fukten i marken på ett annat sätt än idag. Idag är det på väg att bli en tundra här. Det kan man se på den här sprickbildningen. Just off the main road to Vemdalen, the Swedish Department of Roads has a small depot in the forest to store its road signs and snow plows. The depot has been surrounded by this fence for about 20 years, and inside it you can see the way the reindeer moss ought to look. It covers the whole of the forest floor. It's about 10 centimeters deep, and underneath, if I put my hand in here, it's nice and moist. I can feel the moisture down there. On the other side of the fence, there's a dramatic contrast. There's virtually no reindeer moss at all, and the ground is cracked and dry. Now, some people have argued that the problem of reindeer moss in these forests is caused by acid rain. But there's only one thing that this fence is keeping out, and that's reindeer. The members of the Tennis Sami community have reached the critical point in the calf marking process. They're studying the distinctive owner's mark cut into each adult female reindeer's ear and noting the number carried by her calf. Chairman Edwin Rensberg has got little time now, or at all for that matter, for the concerns of landowners like Carl Erik Mortensen. The statements that markägarna framför de är väldigt överdrivna. Och till de största delarna har de skapat dem själva. Vad man gör idag det är det att man, man kalhugger väldigt stora områden och sen planterar man själv upp så att säga nya plantor som man förmedlar sig då ska få stå helt ostörda där och växa. Men var någonstans i, i ett naturligt skogstillstånd hittar man då ett kilometer stora ytor med, med enbart sådana här små träplanter. Det är en onaturlig företeelse egentligen. But for the landowners, it's simply a question of money. The Sami are making it, and they are losing it. Jag kan inte gå till samerna och säga att eh, ni får ge mig 1000 renar så att jag kan slakta och sälja dem för att jag måste göra en investering på min gård. För det accepterar inte dem. Varför ska jag måste acceptera att jag inte får göra någonting på den fastigheten som jag äger, betala skatt för? Förvaltar, va? For Sami activist Olaf Johansson, calf marking is already over for this year. 
but the struggle to preserve his people's way of life goes on, all year, every year. As he sees it too, the issue is fundamentally about who owns the land. I can't understand why people that move up to these areas just a couple of hundred years ago, they own the land. But we that have been, been living here for hundreds or maybe thousands of years, we don't own it. It's very, very often the same situation that indigenous people can't prove and they don't own the land. Johansson lives alone in the mountains with only his dog Ulle for company. He's a dedicated man. Like most southern Sami, he has a Swedish name and never learned the Sami language. But it's the Sami, not the Swedish flag, that flies in his front yard. Johansson is no hermit. He's well plugged in to the worldwide network of Aboriginal activists. He's been to Rio and Geneva to lobby for Sami rights. But it's in the Swedish courts that the real struggle is being waged. The Ranger law says that uh, we are allowed to be in, the, in, in uh, our traditional areas in the wintertime, even on private uh, land, but it don't point out exact where. So if any landowner could go to court and uh, try to, to, to uh, make it impossible for us to, to have our reindeers there. And that's exactly what Carl Erik Mortensson, Per Nordlinde, and 700 of their fellow private landowners have done. And furthermore, they've won. The district court has ruled that the Sami have no general right to graze their reindeer on private land without permission or fee. If the appeal court upholds that decision, the landowners are determined to impose some rules on the Sami. Jag menar, det här måste vi komma igen va? Då kan vi leva tillsammans här, här idag. Va? Men man kan inte leva tillsammans med någon som säger vi har rättigheter, vi gör precis som vi vill. Det, det, det fungerar inte i ett samhälle idag va? The landowners insist that the Sami will have to pay grazing fees and compensation for damage to the forests. Yes, but I think it could be so expensive so it will, uh, even then, it will destroy the possibility for us to go on with our reindeer herding. Change the music a bit, and it could be a barn dance in any small outback community in Australia. And the similarities go deeper. There's the same reluctant acknowledgement that in the past, the indigenous people were ill-used, together with an injured sense that today's Sami are a privileged and cosseted minority. We are we must accept the law. Ska de också göra det? Ja, precis. Det är ingen skillnad, det är ingen skillnad för dem än för oss som har mark här att de ska väl också följa lagen. But in Sweden, unlike Australia, it's the indigenous people who are the pastoralists. And through their reindeer, they've been able to maintain not just a living, but an entire way of life. <coughs> For Edwin Rensberg and the tennis community, the climax of the morning's work has come. The calves have again been separated from the adults. Now, one by one, they are hauled out of the pen and the agreed owner's name is called out. No fancy high-tech methods here. The owner's mark is sliced into the calf's ear with a traditional Sami knife, a technique that's been used for centuries. It looks gruesome, but there's no blood and apparently no pain. 
there's another major difference between the Sami situation and Aboriginal Australians. Here, the courts have found against the existence of traditional land rights the Sami thought were secure. And that could endanger the viability of their entire culture. Det slutliga jur juridiska resultatet skulle bli som ting domen i tingsrätten. Då skulle det bli så att säga slutet på renskötseln i Härjedal. För utan de här vinterbetesområdena så är det en omöjlighet för renskötseln att existera. For this herd at least, calf marking is over. They're released to the freedom of the summer hills and winter forests. But it's a limited freedom these days, hemmed in by frontiers and boundaries, titles and claims that the reindeer know nothing about. Soon, they may run out of room completely. <laughs>